Hello friends. In this part, we will make customer details form for Fill customer address details Card details with display shopping cart details on web page So, when customer has click on check out button Then it will be redirect to order process page on which they can see shopping item details and on that page customer can fill their details and make online payment through Stripe for this things we have go to order process.php file and here first we have write session start function it will start session on this page after this we have write dollar total price variable is equal to zero. In this variable, we will store shopping cart total price details. Below this, we have write dollar item details variable is equal to blank value. In this variable, we will store item details. For store order details, here we have write dollar order details variable is equal to HTML table with four table column like product name, quantity, price and total. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write not empty function with dollar session shopping cart variable this condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable under loop we have write dollar order details variable and in this we have append this HTML code. In first table column, we want to display product name details. So here we have write dollar values product name variable. In second column, we want to display product quantity details. So here we have write dollar values product quantity variable. In third column, we want to display product price details. So here we have write dollar values product price variable. In fourth column, we want to display total price of particular item. So here we have write dollar values product quantity variable into dollar values product price variable it will calculate total price for particular product for calculate total amount of whole shopping cart here we have write dollar total price variable is equal to dollar total price variable plus dollar values product quantity variable into dollar values product price variable it will calculate total amount of whole shopping cart same way for store item name details here we have write dollar item details variable and here we have append value of dollar values product name variable. Now for display shopping cart total amount. Here we have write dollar order details variable. And here we have append this HTML code. And here we have write dollar total price variable. It will display total amount of whole shopping cart. For display shopping cart details on web page. Here we have write echo statement. With dollar order details variable. It will display shopping cart details. Friends. 
Here we can see when page has been loaded into browser. Then we can see product on web page. And above product, we can see number, which display shopping cart detail. So when we have click on this anchor tag, then shopping cart has been slide down. Here we can see item which we have added into cart. Here we can see checkout and clear button. So for checkout we have click on checkout button. Then page has been redirect to new web page. And here on right side we can see shopping cart details with total amount. At left side we will make form payment. For this we have go to order process.php file. And here we have make form with method is equal to post. ID is equal to order process form. And action is equal to payment.php. So, when we have submit form, then it will send form data to payment.php file. Under this form, for enter card holder details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to customer name, ID is equal to customer name. Below this tag, we have write span tag with ID is equal to error customer name. Here we will display validation error for card holder name field. For enter customer email address details. Here we have write input type is equal to text, name attribute is equal to email address, and ID attribute is equal to email address. Below this, we have write span tag with ID is equal to error email address. In this tag, we will display validation error for email address field. For enter customer address details, here we have write text area field, with name attribute is equal to customer address, ID attribute is equal to customer address. Below this tag, we have write span tag, with ID is equal to error customer address, under this tag, we will display customer address field validation error. For enter customer city details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name attribute is equal to customer city, and ID attribute is equal to customer city. Below this field, we have write span tag with ID is equal to error customer city, under this tag. We will display validation error for city text box field. Same way for enter customer zip code details. Here we have write input type is equal to text. Name attribute is equal to customer pin. And ID attribute is equal to customer pin. Below this field, we have write span tag with ID is equal to Error customer pin, under this tag, we will display customer pin validation error. For enter customer state details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to customer state, and ID is equal to customer state. For enter customer country details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name attribute is equal to customer country, and ID attribute is equal to customer country. Below this country field, we have write span tag with attribute ID is equal to error customer country, under this tag it will display validation error for country text box. For enter customer card number details, 
Here we have write input type is equal to text. Name is equal to card holder number. ID attribute is equal to card holder number. Below this card number field, we have write span tag with ID is equal to error card number. Under this tag we will display card number validation error. For enter card expiry month details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to card expiry month, and ID is equal to card expiry month. Below this expiry month field, we have write span tag with attribute ID is equal to card expiry month. Under this tag we will display validation error for expiry month details. For enter card expiry year details, here we have write input type is equal to text. Name attribute is equal to card expiry year and ID attribute is equal to card expiry year. Below this field, we have write span tag with attribute ID is equal to error card expiry year. Under this tag, it will display validation error for card expiry year field. For enter card CVC details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to card CVC, and ID attribute is equal to card CVC. Below this field, we have write span tag with attribute ID is equal to error card CVV. Under this tag we will display validation error for card CVC field data. Now here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to total amount, and in this field value attribute, we have write PHP echo statement, with dollar total price variable value. Here we have store whole shopping cart total amount details. For store currency code details, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name attribute is equal to currency code, and in value attribute, we have write dollar. So here we have defined currency code details. For store item name details, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to item details. And in value attribute, we have write PHP echo statement with dollar item details variable value. Lastly, for submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to button, name is equal to button action, ID attribute is equal to button action. And in value attribute, we have write pay now, so by click on this button, customer can pay online payment through strip payment integration. Friends, here at right side of web page, we can see shopping cart details, now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see one form has been appear on web page at the left side of web page. Customer can fill their details and pay online payment through this form by using Stripe. So in this part, we have display shopping cart details on web page. And then after we have make form for pay online payment, so in next part, we will validate form data.